Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our weekly angel reading for May 7th through the 13th, 2018. So let's just take a moment to take a deep breath together and to just allow yourself to really just be present with the energy for this period of the reading for May 7th through the 13th, 2018. And just allow your heart to open to the voice of your own truth and to your the love and the guidance that is coming forward now for you through your angels and getting this feeling I'm seeing this word yes and um, I'm feeling like you you have like a, had a question and sort of like a yes or no um, answer and they're they're sort of confirming uh, for you yes this is the right decision this is the right choice for you, this is the right path for you. Yes, this is the right purpose for you. They keep showing me a bowl and it makes me think of the Ace of Cups in which something um, something new or profound, uh, something has come into your life and changed your life, um, just opened up your heart and you're just bursting over with um, joy. Um, in, in incredible new ways, you are feeling very, the right word, hopeful. Um, it's just, it's something, it, something's come about that has been also the right word, helpful to you. It's helped open your eyes in some way. And, and you're probably saying to yourself, is this really it? This is just too good to be true. Um, and they want you to know that this is what they mean by those soulful connections. They should never have, uh, you should never have a question in your mind uh, whether or not you're going to succeed. And they're writing out this word, uh, succeed. So um, if I feel like, you know, and they're showing me a scroll of like, basically you, this is something where you're going to succeed and it's going to be rewarding to you. Um, there's a lot on this path that is um, just going to open up so many opportunities and it keeps showing me to scroll and it's sort of uh, sort of on both ends there's a ribbon in the middle but it's almost some kind of um, paper like a, not a this paper that we're aware of now but more of a cloth paper and so when it it opens almost like a bow which is like sort of two symbols for me of a the bow is a symbol of rewards, but the, the document is a symbol of qualification. And um, I, I think they want you to know that, I get a sense that they want you to know that you're qualified for this opportunity. So if there's any doubts that you're having entertaining in your mind, um, especially about how other people, they're writing that word out, may perceive you, um, your readiness, your worthiness, uh, for this uh, opportunity, you are qualified. And if you put all those doubts out of your mind and don't consider them, don't give them a second thought, just trust that you're going to succeed in this endeavor. And if you put all that aside, and if you just sort of commit yourself to trusting in the universe, trusting that you deserve this, you know, they're, they're giving me a sense that you may always feel this way. You may have this sort of imposter um, sort of pers mentality where you never feel like you're good enough for anything. You, you never feel like you're, um, you're qualified for the things that come to you. They want you to understand that this is coming about, and look at that 444 at that moment, um, the angels are supporting you. It, they, they want you to know that this is coming about not because you're, you're not qualified, but because you are, you are the imposter that you're being is that you're trying to suppress your truth. You're, you're, you're 
unknowingly pretending to be something you're not and that's what you feel that's what makes you feel like you're an imposter or a fraud because you're not you're suppressing your truth and you're not doing it on purpose but the the feeling is that you uh, is is indicating that you're just not allowing yourself to have what it, you deserve and to to really um, step into the role that is truly you and that is truly yours. So they they just wrote the word follow. They want you to follow up on this opportunity coming to you in your life right now, despite all of the the signals, the fears you have, the insecurities that you have, despite all of that, they want you to go ahead and do it anyway. And if you just can't find a reason why you should, then just do it for none of the reasons that would hold you back, okay? Um, but just do it for knowing that you deserve it and you can you have nothing to lose i mean you know you you really have nothing to lose you have everything to gain by not doing it you're going to have a lot to lose your 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 the ego your fears are sort of reversing this on you because if you don't do it you're going to feel like you lost a lot because that feeling is not there to make you feel bad but is there to indicate that you're out of alignment with what it is that is your truth, you see? And so it's, I don't know if I'm getting this across, but we're so focused. We see ourselves as, a, it's so easy for us to point out, to criticize ourselves. And isn't it a little too easy for us to do that? You know, to 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 see why we're not qualified and to find, and to, and you know, come to the conclusions, just, it, it comes too easily, our, our negativity. You know, we buy into it too easily, the evidence, where you don't even usually have any evidence, you just have uh, um, your suspicions, or you have your, your, your perspective, you know, and your, your account of, of uh, the, the facts, which is always colored, you know, um, by the way you feel about yourself. And that's not fair as a starting place, right? It's just not fair at all. So, and you're never going to be, when you go with your fears, you're going to really feel like you lost something. But when you just set that fear aside and you, you recognize that you really don't have anything to lose, because if you don't get it, then, or what you're going for, um, then there's nothing really that's going to change to your life. The only thing that you are going to allow to change within you is how you feel about yourself, especially if you make the reason for what, you, the reason you're doing something a personal, meaning you make it about you, like the rejection, you make that about you, and it, instead of, it could be a whole number of things and uh, why it didn't happen. And they may or may not be important. But the thing is, is for you to know that you can put yourself out there every time, let's just say for job interview or whatever it is, every time you put yourself out there, you learn something important, you know, because if you should be paying attention to the interaction or if it's a, a date, you should, you're learning something. You're, it's, it's, you're never going um, in there and just getting yourself completely you know, rejected without you getting something out of the experience, without you learning something about yourself or learning about something about what you're really looking for. Um, you, know, you discover um, things that you maybe weren't aware of you know things that, that you know that kind of occur for, occur to you that is something more realistic or more um, in in harmony or balance with uh, what you are really um, been aiming for without really knowing it and it you it gets defined somehow as you go through the process who you want to be what you how you want to feel 
you get more clarity about that. So, you know, you to not do something, the loss is greater than to try and have it not work out the way you expect it. The way you expect it. And the way you expect it, you know, we're always looking in one direction when there's something always opening up in another direction, but we don't see that open because we're looking there. And when we take things personally, that's where we our, our uh, focus gets narrowed instead of having an awareness of, as you're always entering any um, sort of interaction. You, you want to expand your awareness, not narrow it. And when you when you focus on like the outcome of rejection, and as you move through that whole interaction, all you're waiting for is the, 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 the other shoe to drop. You're not paying attention to anything else. You're not paying attention to um, any of the positive things that, that came out of the interaction. So we, they really want you um, to to really pay attention. I just looked down and I, the clock said, you know, 111. Um, so I've just seen that twice, 444 and 111. So there's, there's I want to just look at these numbers here. And we know that the 444 is talking about the angels supporting you um, and that they're surrounding you right now. It says, there are angels. They're everywhere around you. You are completely loved, supported, and guided by many heavenly beings. You have nothing to fear. Okay? And let's look at 111, although it was 1111. But 1111, um, recently what the angels indicated to me, is that when you see the 1111 on the clock, like those four numbers, that it indicates an important soul contract. Um, a, 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 something that is a, important to your life purpose, something um, that, uh, yeah, a soul contract, something that you've, you know, your soul um, has engaged is really important um, for you to be focused in a very positive way and to really take action on that without delay. So if, if you see it repeatedly in a, um, in a sort of say, a time, a particular time frame, um, it's just a reminder to, to, to keep working on that, okay? Um, if there's a huge gap before you, I'm talking like months um, or almost half of a year or something like this, before you see it again, it, it may indicate another soul contract. But right now, if you've been seeing that a lot, it means that you're in the midst of, a, of an important soul contract. So again, it's that confirming, yes, this is it. Go for this. This is the signs that you've been looking for. Um, this is what you've been um, working towards. Um, but the number 111, says the number brings you the urgent message that your thoughts are manifesting instantly. So keep your mind set focused upon your desires. Give any fearful thoughts to heaven for transmutation. Okay. So if you've been seeing that particular sequence, um, 1111, because in the angel numbers 101 book by Doreen Virtue, uh, they only read the numbers in sets of three. And if you get four or five numbers at once, you read the first three, and then you read the, the, the last uh, numbers, last one, the last two, the last three, etc. cetera. Um, and if you get another, you know, if you saw something with seven digits, you would break it up in three, three, and then one. But um, when I was doing a writing for the Daily Card Messages, if you've not ever checked those out, you know, make sure you do that in the link below. Um, you can find my Facebook page there. You, you, it's different from my Facebook, you know, like profile. Um, it's attached, but there's a link here. But it came up and about this being a soul contract and um, something that your soul has... Um, something that your soul wanted to work on and that your soul, your higher self is reminding you of the importance of this and to stay positive about it, to be focused on it. Um, and they'll keep reminding you um, and giving you sort of signs and to, to, to not get off track, you know? So you may look at those, it may look like lanes, the one, 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 one. It's that sort of idea, you know, stay on that lane, you know, stay within these, this, this lane here. You're on the right path. 
um, and notice the path that's opening up for you. Maybe you you have a couple of different lanes there, but pay attention to the one that's giving you the most feedback, okay? The one that, that has the strongest connection. Stay focused, stay centered. All right, so let me just kind of tune in and see if there's any additional information. Um, they're, they're showing me that you're having the, uh, a period where you're feeling kind of vulnerable as new information opens up to you. So there's new information opening up to you from your inner being, your, 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 your inner source is providing you new information, um, possibly um, new insights and, and gifts that are opening up for you. And it's changing the way you see your world. So it's, and that's, you know, that, that brings up all kinds of fears because if you're now discovering that you are more than what you've allowed yourself to believe, this is frightening as you have to realize that you need to step into these roles where you're being guided and you don't feel confident because you haven't had the practice of, of seeing yourself that way. Um, and so this is a time right now to really um, to nurture yourself, but um, to also be to be um, aware. OK, so you can kind of sort of arm yourself um, with being aware of what's going on and to not let the triggers get blown out of proportion. Um, it's just a simplicity. It's a simple idea that you are shifting and you're, 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 you're changing and, and your soul is becoming more um, clear and more powerful in its role in your life in terms of the guidance it's offering, the insights. And it's just like going high definition when you start to really activate um, your source consciousness. You know, you see the world, you see the details for what they really are. You see them more in alignment with truth and your reality. And I'm just seeing um, the angel number 100, and it says, this is a strong message from God telling you that your positive thoughts are necessary to co-create the outcome you desire. So they, you know, they want you to, to be aware that you are creating your reality. So anything that's coming to you right now, you deserve that. If an opportunity is coming to you, you deserve it. It, it came from within you. Not, it's not, it, 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 you couldn't have attracted it. Uh, you can't attract anything to you if you didn't give it permission to it on some level, whether you're, it's conscious or not. So the thing is, if it's good, let's not talk about the, the stuff we don't want, you know, because that doesn't need much explanation, except sometimes we've can't, you know, conceive how we, we attract those things to us because we feel so, like we feel like we've been victimized. But it, when something good comes, what's the excuse then? You know, and, and that's when your ego kicks in with all this, well, you're not qualified. You, you, you know, there are other people out there better than you. You know, you're wasting your time if you go for that because there's going to be 100 different people, 500 people, 1,000 people applying for that, and you're not going to get it. So... The, the thing is, is that, but if that opportunity is coming to you, there is a reason for it. There is something that you're going to gain. Guarantee, if you can expand your awareness, okay, and be open to perceiving not just what you always are expecting, but the things that you don't expect to learn, okay? So they're writing out the word lesson. And so you, you learn really important lessons. So success doesn't always have to be that you get what you were expecting, but that you get something, that you learn something that you weren't expecting. And so shift your attention for a while to the things that you weren't expecting. Go in not expecting to get what you want, but to get something that you weren't expecting. Because you just may take the pressure off that where you allow the flow of what you want to happen more easily because you're looking somewhere else. 
you're putting your attention somewhere else, and then the thing that you want, it will, of course, that's easy to recognize when it happens, you see? But when you're so focused and like you think that that's all that there is here, and when it doesn't happen, then you don't see the other gains, the other opportunities, which you then cut yourself out of this knowledge and these other types of rewards that are just as fulfilling when you get them. Okay, so let's take a look at the card for the theme of the week. Okay, and it's Archangel Shamuel. And um, Archangel Shamuel is the archangel over the um, heart chakras, uh, the ascended heart chakras in the, the, of the, the 12. So that's something um, you, well, I won't get into that right now where I'm getting this information from, but um, so look at the, at this card this is a card speaking of peace and so it says peace comes from remembering that only love is real okay and so um archangel shamiel is his name means he, he who sees god and so th there's something in which they are trying to help you to heal your heart to open your heart and that your heart is going to start to show you all the forms of peace in your life um, is going to show you um, this this profound love and that you're that you're searching for um, not only with someone else but something that you're looking for within yourself and something you haven't given to yourself yet and it's really important that at this time that you allow your heart to really open and to not close off your heart by thinking negatively. So we really want to keep your heart open. And, and when you look at the situation, looking for the positive, which means try to look for the unexpected opportunities. You know, think about the possibilities before you walk into a job interview or into a, a blind date or um, before you go into, if you're having a meeting with, um, you know, a professor or about, or you're talking with something or you're going to, for a proposal, think about, make a list of all the opportunities, unexpected opportunities you might gain from this interaction, even though you are deadly afraid of trying in the first place. Don't, don't let yourself be limited with just the one outcome the thing that you think you're going in there for. Because the universe is always orchestrating multiple layers around everything that you're doing because you're multidimensional in your, in your existence, truly. And there's just so much that we're not paying attention to because our focus is a little too narrow. And this does not mean that you're getting off track, but that you're expanding what you're, what you're looking for. So you can see that how much abundance how much love the universe is really, really bringing to you. And this is where that peace, that newfound peace comes from. Because you see the world in this unlimited way. And, and you see less how the world is trying to harm you or to, to um, victimize you or to, or to um, restrain you. And you see it as a, an like an open embrace, you know, we're, we're just wanting to give you the best of everything possible. Okay? All right, let's take a look at the card for the beginning of the week and see how our week just starts off. <laughs> wow. Now, we had this card come up last week twice uh, in the reading. It's the six of, of the daily card messages I'm talking about. And this is the six of Earth. And this card, um, for me, is about this balance, um, recognizing that, the, you know, we could spend a lot of time being afraid of things that we want, afraid that we're not going to get them, afraid that they're not going to work out, afraid I'm not going to have enough of this, afraid I'm not going to have enough of that. And instead of offering your fear, because that's what you're doing, and then you're going to get this experience to come back to you because the universe is neutral, 
okay? So despite the way that we feel that the universe is um, pushing our buttons, you know, um, the universe is just responding to our desires and it's focused and it's and how we focus upon those desires. So if we focus upon those desires with fear, then that's what we get. If we focus upon that desire with with love, with confidence, then this is how it comes back to us. And not in just that one particular form, but in a variety. It's always a variety that's being offered to us. So if you want to if you want something, start giving it. Because as you give that, you receive it. You know, it's 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 like as you if you want to feel more at peace in your life, if you want to feel um, that the world is a safe place, then start um, start putting those, implementing those actions for others. Give give that to other people, and you'll start to get that back. You'll activate because you'll feel you'll activate the passion, the love. The, the purpose, the meaning that you feel, you activate it within yourself. See, it's always starting from within. It's already inside of you. And you just have to allow it to flow. But when you're afraid, you don't. And if you do the thing that you're wanting, if you, then you activate the flow again. And once the flow is 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 occurring it it it's it's a full circle process it 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 comes back it goes out and it comes back and this is how you can sort of create this you know this balance of the scales here is when you are afraid this is a sign that you need to balance the scale for yourself so see your fear <clears throat> or your focus on lack not as that that this is your, the, what you're faded with, but see it as the universe helping you because the universe is neutral. So the only thing they can do is help where the laws help you by giving back to you what you're offering so that you can make a choice and to think creatively, think outside of the box, you see, and, and bring yourself back into balance. So don't use your, your emotions or, and I know it's hard when I'm going to say this, and don't use the evidence of what you're, what you're experiencing that you don't like as a personal attack against you. You know, that you're alone, you're, the universe is, has, you know, doesn't listen to you, has, has abandoned you. This is not the way. This is just, this is the only way because they can't usurp your free will. So they can only show you, and I think this is why the laws of attraction were put into place, because it's, it's balanced, because it's neutral. And, and, it's in, in, and even though we don't like sometimes what we get, but it's, can you understand that there's a harmony there? There is a, it's, there's a, um, a equality in it, because the universe is saying that you're powerful enough to understand anything that you are putting out there that you're able to that you're powerful enough to recognize it if you want to be open to see and then you're a powerful alchemist and you can change what you've created by taking that information that seeing seeing your truth the way you're presenting it to yourself and take it and then alter the way that you are putting that out there. So it's an indicator for you to bring balance. So where there's lack, start start um, doing things that, that focus on the abundance because the abundance didn't start outside of you, it starts within you. A lot of things that you think, this is why I've always found, and I'm sure you've discovered it too, that, and this is why some people give a lot because even when they don't have it, they they are able to feel a satisfaction when when they give. It erases it erases for them, even though they may be struggling. Um, they it, it it puts them back in that place where they realize that the world is full of blessings. I watched my mother give 
from the little she had and she would always tell me to do that I didn't get it you know but she would I would watch things just come to her you know to is you know she would give she had ten dollars left and she would give five to somebody she saw in, in a store who she just walked up to them and my mother said that she was just guided to bless them and she would do it and I'm like why are you doing that we you know but but next day somebody would come by with this huge gift for her it, it happened all the time and so I really um, understand it by because I've seen it and I've also experienced it but I've seen it I've not reached the level of my mother yet, and uh, but I've seen this. So give what you feel you lack, okay? And let's take a look at the card for the middle of the week and see what's... Okay, and this is the, the King of Fire or King of Wands. And the King of Wands is sort of seen as this um, visionary, one who has this capacity to really um, to sort of see ahead, to imagine um, the impossible and inspire others. So is, is this someone who has a, um, an important role of inspiring others because they can see, um, they, can, they have great imaginations and they can see beyond um, the scope of where they are and what's going on with them. And this is sort of two things I feel, I feel like for some of you, this is um, part of your purpose. <clears throat> I, um, I feel like this is part of your purpose. Um, this is part of your role uh, to, you have this gift and ability. I also feel like it's the thing that we were just talking about that you will need right now that um, that you you can t totally motivate yourself, even though you may have be struggling with certain aspects of in your life, but you become totally charged and um, your fire is reignited when you have a cause that you that you believe in a cause that um, where you can see potential and and you're asked to mine it. It, it just lights you up and it brings you back into balance. It brings you into these feelings of hope. Your heart expands. This is what they really want you to do. This is the, the reason for Archangel Shamiel's message um, and want, wanting you to remember who you are. And you'll remember this, you'll find this peace and you'll remember, you'll find this peace through the love that you enact. Um, for others and how you in your leadership. So don't back down from a leadership role that you may just because you feel like you are maybe not the one because you don't have maybe because you don't have all the uh, everything to show to say you know yeah I've done this and so I can tell you to do this. That doesn't that doesn't make that doesn't make anybody qualified. People believe that and maybe that's our fault um, for always believing that and that someone who may not have um, everything that we would want to um, model ourselves after has nothing to offer us because we're forgetting just how divine each and every one of us is no matter how we are manifesting um, or how our, how our lives have manifested thus far. We, each one of us is the voice of God, um, an aspect of God within, this, within that, that form. And so that doesn't disqualify you. This, is a, this, this attribute of this uh, king is a gift. And as soon as you enact that gift, that gift will start giving back to you. So stop using that excuse. Stop using that excuse, okay? Because you won't see the changes that you're looking for until you use that gift, okay? All right, let's take a look at the card for, ah, and I was thinking about this card as I was talking earlier. Um, because the queen of, of water, her cups, is someone who, just opens up her heart. So we have this heart energy here to, again today. Um, <clears throat> she's someone whose just heart's always open to people. 
and she will give everything that she has and sometimes she will it gives her a sense of um, satisfaction she has this empathy for others and she has so much love inside of her so much feeling that she just wants it keeps her um, it keeps her sort of feeling like she's um, balanced in some way when she can just do the things that she maybe that she can't always do for herself but she can do it really well for other people she just understands other people it's not easy for her to understand herself and so therefore she may tend to um, sort of uh, put herself out there we you know she's sort of um, the person who kind of sacrifices themselves for everybody else's goals their mission she's always you know running the this errand and she's doing a lot of things and you if you ask her oh she's she's got it it's for somebody else and she doesn't have, often make enough time uh, he or she because this could all you know doesn't mean that male female roles here but it just means that um this you may put other people ahead of yourself and <clears throat> and part of this and it's interesting because we have the six of earth which is talking about this abundance the balance of abundance uh, which is giving and receiving and balancing that out and then we have from two different suits fire and water and the ma masculine uh, the yin yang kind of energy here and so we see this balance here and so the thing is is that you may be a nurturer but you also need to be a leader you need to step into <clears throat> you need to step into your role <clears throat> excuse me as a leader and um focus on taking the opportunities for yourself at this time and that and and that opportunity will allow you to help people from a better platform one where you have more support to help you do the work that you enjoy doing wow that's really you know powerful right there so this is about for some of you who are reluctant because you you want to do a lot you want to um you want to you know you want to save the world you really want to you really want to change people's lives because that's how you're just wired but the thing is is that this is an opportunity you need to take for yourself because the platform that you'll be able to use will give you more support to help you to do the work that you enjoy this is a really important thing for you to think about, which I think for some of you who, uh, as I described before, this will sort of turn on your, or sort of light your button, so to speak, if that's a phrase, but um, it'll just turn things on for, it'll turn, it'll flip the switch inside of your head that goes, uh, every time you see an opportunity, you go, uh, and this time you go, your heart will open, you will open, and you'll, you'll move through it with confidence because now, the, your purpose, it, everything's in alignment for you. You, you know, it, it, it fits your your sort of um, image uh, or model uh, of of for yourself. So I've already pulled the card from the bottom of the deck, and it's the High Priestess. And so, okay, this card tells you to really go in, okay, and um, really connect in with what's what you're feeling to really listen to those feelings and i get this sense that when this opportunity came you were excited like it just happened something just sort of erupted within you felt that okay and what happened after we don't want to talk about that but let's go back there and they, they really want you to stay there they want you to just be present with that because that first sort of eruption of excitement where you could you just start to imagine you know you start to see it's like like the king of fire here you start to see um what could be done the good that you could do you know you, you saw all the good that you could do and all that could be given what could be exchanged you know you start to imagine in your role how this could affect other people what what exchanges what um would be inspired out of you being in this role because of being because of who you are the compassionate type of person that you are loving and kind and generous in every way 
And if you took that fire aspect of you, that creativity, that um, ability to um, envision, to see others' potential, and to um, sort of set them off on a path, you know, you 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 would you know you would be this person who would would utilize their gifts in a way that's meaningful and 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 you would put thought into that and who better to to do this than someone like you so because you are highly sensitive you are um you you do come from your you, your intuition is very strong. You got the queen of water here. So two very intuitive signs here, um, uh, cards. And, and so this is about you listening to your heart, but also recognizing this is what's going to make you ideal because you listen to your heart and you set people on paths that are right for their hearts <clears throat> and their souls. And that's what's, that's something that, not many people can do, and that's what makes you unique in the gifts that would be exchanged because of you being there. So don't make this sacrifice, because you would not just be sacrificing yourself, but you'd be sacrificing other people's happiness as well. All right, so I send you lots of love and peace and blessings, and I thank you for joining us this week. If you'd like an angel reading, feel free to contact me at theangelschool.com on the services page um, of my website. Um, on my website, you, there are different types of readings. There's also, um, if you're looking for, uh, to take a, um, do some ongoing work with me, which is, you can do the Divine Roadmap uh, course, which is like 10 weeks. One of them is free if you pay for all of it at once. Um, there's... Um, you know, some time in between for us to, um, you know, to send me questions as well, um, other than just the, the, the weekly session um, with that program. If you wanted to work on your intuition um, or you just trying to um, want to work through some things, a project that you're working on and you just want to make sure you're not getting your way kind of thing, uh, it's very good for that, okay? Or if there's some fear that you would just want to um, make sure that doesn't pop up or usurp your free will. Um, it's good for that as well. So um, if you haven't joined us for the daily card message, as I said before, you can find that, the website for my um, for the readings in the description link below, as well as um, Twitter um, page, which you can get the both the readings through Twitter, and there's a link below this video. So my friends, I send you lots of love. Have a beautiful week. Trust, trust. If you don't trust in your abilities, trust in the love that you have, your love and caring, your 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 vision, your 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 beautiful the beautiful way that you see good in others when they can't see it for themselves. That's what makes you perfect for this opportunity. Because that's, we need more angels in positions that can really help facilitate happiness and joy and prosperity for others. We need angels in those positions. And you're an angel. So go for it. Step up to that platform so you can do a lot of good. Until next week, God bless you.